let's build it welcome back guys just a short video on staging materials staging your materials means a lot when it comes off the truck if you can put it where it needs to be you save a lot of time time is money what we do is I bring an extra lift as soon as we get the materials off the truck we have one lift that goes ahead and starts erecting and then one lift that stays behind and unloads the second and third truck as they pull in what I like to do as it comes off the truck I have a guy on top he is looking at numbers or mark mark numbers and I'm driving the lift and I'm looking at plans so he tells me what numbers or what materials I got so we know where a lot of the materials go or I or I can look at them and tell so like on this whole job I only have five eve struts so when they come off the truck and as long as the manufacturers uh, stack them in the same place I can grab all five and then I go ahead and take them to the back of the slab and lay them down then later if a lift isn't available but my guys get there and they're erecting all they got to do is walk over to the pile and maybe carry it 20 or 30 feet maybe a little bit longer but at least they don't have to walk all the way across the parking lot to the other side step across many more materials or big sidewalks walking under guys that are working on another bay or another section just a lot safer so i wanted to just show you a little bit of how i laid this this system out other guy that was driving the other lift he did get a little head of me and he sat these beams here in the floor i don't like that because now i can't get a lift to the other end so i would turn them 90 degrees and put them right here in front of these co these interior columns all in the same pile then when i get ready to hang that one frame i can come over here and grab it and drive to that frame which is just i mean the the slab of this building is a lot bigger than a lot of my framing materials so it ain't like a small build where i have to lay them outside the slab i can use the slab then they're already there and i have to drive very little with the lift to get them up in the air where they need to be i don't like this because he's laid two here and then two other over there now i had to go through the maze of the steel to get the forklift in there to raise it but if they were all stacked here I would, I would, since I have the interior columns, I can't cross those anyway with purlins or girts because they're always wider than your columns layout. I can block that section up anyway, and then I would leave me one trail in the dead center that I could come and hang these frames, and these big frames wouldn't be in the way, and the little frames wouldn't be in the, the way. They would be in another stack that I could grab, come through my little trail, lift up, set it on these two columns. Then all of my purlins. I lay them in the yard. In this particular build, we only have, well, we got five bays, and the two end bays are the only purlins that are the same. They're marked P1. Bay two is P2. On the other end, it's P5. In the middle, it's P3. And then we have some extra marked purlins because we have some curbs on the roof and they're a thicker gauge. So in the middle bay, or the two second bays, we have three odd marks that have to go in a certain place and then in the middle bay there's two that's marked different that tie to those other odd marks if i stack them all in the same place and then i stack them on the slab where i need to hang them and have a forklift then they're in the way so what i do is I, I set those in the yard and i make five different piles i do not if if possible some some lots are tight and you can't do that so you have to lay them all in one pile but bring out the mark or whichever bay you're working on bring them out front then lay them out we like to spread them on the ground get them all laid out then we come and scoop up four or five at a time with the lift set them on top just lay them in place my other materials as they come off the truck and every truck is going to be stacked different but i know my metal siding and my roofing is going to be one of the last things that happen or or maybe not the last thing the trims last thing but my framing is going to happen first so i stack my framing close to the slab and around the slab in places that i need it so if i do have to carry it by hand it's only uh just a few feet and not crossing the whole lot or the whole slab sometimes that's not possible you have to put it in a pile out of the way for while you're working and then bring it in piece by piece as you need it my roofing metal i'll lay out to the edge of the lot because that's going to be one of the last things and then on this particular job i'm going to have masons come in they're going to run the wall before i even start the roof 
so I don't want to stack it next to the slab even though that would be a, a staging process that where I would stage it is on this end and lift it up on the roof. Now when it come off the truck just to stay out of the way we set it out by the edge of the road. All of my bolts, cables and ties, closures, my accessories come in a pallet and I want to lay them in a central location on this slab. That way I save time on my guys when they forgot a bolt or, or they don't have or they're changing bolts because per frame we have different bolts, different size bolts, different size screws, different kinds of screws for this job. So if I'll put my accessories in a central location, that way if I got guys working in one bay and two other guys in another bay and they're doing a whole different job, they can walk back and forth to that box with less steps which is time and time is money. I read or I heard from some guy that was a contractor, he figured it up one time and he paid guys to walk to the truck for tools or accessories, $3,000 a year per man because the truck or the tool truck being too far away or the truck and toolbox trailer not being organized. The less steps a guy has to take on a job every day, the less time that it will take for him to get tools or whatever he needs and get back to work so you're more productive and not only are you productive as a business owner you save money on the labor end and then on making a better profit per job another thought process in the staging of the materials is how your lots laid out what trades are already finished and how you have access to the slab in this particular case they went ahead and ran the sidewalks on three sides of this building because we have a an exit door at the far end which is just the back door never be used on this particular end we'll have the what we call the receiving door that's where you're more or less the loading dock we don't have a actual loading dock but they'll they'll use this slab here where they back their trucks up to and use their buggies to get in that receiving door in the front because of bars here in the front that's to keep people from driving through that front door, I guess. And usually, if that isn't done before we get here, that's our access. So in this particular build, because that is blocked off, and this is an 8 inch sidewalks, and I really don't need a lift on that, I started at the far end, and I'm gonna build out. I will bring in all the materials I will need inside. This, building, this particular building has liner panels on the inside, so as soon as I get those mainframes hung, get the purlins up on the roof out of the way start sheeting any walls I will bring my liner panels inside and set them in the floor that way I don't have to hand carry them through a door and I can use the lift if I have to hand carry them and I get get ahead of myself then I've got two guys that's gonna waste two hours of just bringing materials into the building when I could have picked it up with a forklift nobody else helped me and I bring it in the building within 10 minutes these sidewalks are poured and these doors, these receiving doors, will go up tomorrow as soon as we get the frame squared and plumbed and level. I've got access because they ramped up the concrete there. There's a six or eight inch slab back here, the dumpster pad and the receiving dock. I can drive the forklift on that and be safe, not worry about it cracking. It's made for weight. It's been here for two to three weeks. It's had plenty of time to cure. So I'm using that as my access to the slab with the forklift. But as soon as I get that door up, the lift is not on the slab anymore and the lift is outside the building. Before I have any columns stood in my way on this wall, bring all my long materials in. Same thing with my purlins on the roof. I'll come in here, take them down to the other end, lift and get them up on the roof, get them in the slab. I'll get all those bays done and then I'll stand these columns on this end where and then that cuts off my access with all my long materials without handling it by hand. As you're building, if you'll think of your process and what materials you're going to need, like at the far end, I know the panels go down there for that end wall, the siding, so when it come off the truck, I took it down there immediately before my guys had time to even set any columns or any wall girts, and I sat it on the dirt outside. But I do not have access to that end of the build building because They've already got the retaining pond down there, so I can't drive the forklift in there. So I had to access it from the slab as it come off the truck, drove the forklift down there on the slab, set the panels on the outside. A guy doesn't have to wait on the lift to come get them and move them where he needs them. They're already there. Less footsteps during the day. 
but the least amount I can make a day, the more I get done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope I helped you out. If I bring you a little bit of value, please hit that subscribe button. Give us a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. <clears throat> Just by leaving a like or a comment, you sure help me uh, get a little further ahead on the algorithm with YouTube. If you're interested in any of the tools we use, I'll leave some links down below that you can use. If you're interested in purchasing any, I'm glad you came. I'm glad you stayed and watched the video. That being said, 